Uh, food safety, as you know, is one uh, part uh, of my uh, two responsibilities in my portfolio. And um, I would dare to say and predict that I think it's going to be uh, becoming more uh, important uh, as the years go on. Um, I'm not going to tie you with facts. Uh, we are all aware that the world's population uh, is growing while resources are dwindling um, and that uh, consumption habits are, are evolving over time. Uh, we know today that uh, almost half of the global population are, are, uh, is, is overweight. And at the same time, we are wasting uh, um, a lot of the food that we produce. 88 million tons of food is wasted in the EU alone. Um, and uh, there is a huge contrast uh, if we look at that and the fact that millions of EU citizens can go without a decent meal uh, on a daily basis. So um, there is a lot that we need to do, but I don't want to stand on the negative. I want to stand also on the positive. Um, I think we can be very proud that the EU's food chain remains one of the most secure in the world with um, um, very safe uh, standards. Our rapid alert systems allow us to detect and withdraw unsafe and even dangerous goods from markets, and they're almost like our silent guardians protecting us every day. Uh, this is a very important part of, um, of the work that I will be doing, uh, and it links directly into the area of health. I see it as two sides of, of the same coin, or I would say as a continuum. Uh, because uh, healthy and nutritious food also means healthy people. And how we consume food and, pro and produce is uh, not only important for our planet, but it's also important for human health. Uh, we adopt a One Health approach, link bringing together human health, animal um, health and welfare, and plant health. And uh, I think that this is important that when, when we're discussing um, uh, health that we do see this, this is a continuum. Um, Janus mentioned that um, uh, in the context of the European Green Deal, which was recently launched, um, one of the key building blocks is uh, in um, uh, my area of responsibility, and it is the farm to fork strategy. Um, the adoption of this strategy is foreseen to be unveiled this spring. Uh, we are uh, uh, full stream ahead um, preparing for this. Um, and the aim of the strategy and what we hope to achieve with Farm to Fork is to support and lead to a global transition to a sustainable food system that will ensure healthy and affordable diets sourced from a healthy planet. Um, what we will be doing different with this strategy is to ensure that it becomes a global standard for sustainability and that our food is produced with a minimum impact on uh, nature. And finally, I don't want to tell you, I want to address another very important topic related to food production. It's very high on my agenda uh, here in Berlin, and that is the fight against African swine fever. As I'm sure most of you already know, tomorrow afternoon I'll be welcoming over 50 delegations, uh, 25 ministers, um, and um, many global stakeholders at my conference, will, which will be addressing the future of our global pork production under the threat of uh, African swine fever, and I look forward to, to seeing you there. Um, I'm not going to go into the details of African swine fever. I'm, I'm sure that you know that it is a deadly virus for pigs since it was detected in Lithuania in 2014, and uh, the presence of this disease in the EU is a huge challenge for us. Um, it is at, at the moment um, uh, the EU has um, invested over 100 million to fight the disease alongside with significant human resources. Um, it remains uh, thanks to the collective actions of member states and the commission confined to limited areas and mostly to wild boar. Um, we do have um, good examples like in Chechia of uh, eradication of this disease uh, in its territory. Um, Germany on its side has been very active in recent years in awareness campaigns and we're in continuous discussion uh, with the German authorities on this issue. I'm uh, looking forward to having a discussion um, 
forward to the participation of our Minister Klocknett in tomorrow's uh, conference, which we'll be having in the afternoon. Um, the top five EU producers, including Germany, are free of African swine fever, and we need to make sure, and this is our goal, to make sure that um, this disease doesn't uh, spread any further. And a lot of these issues will be picked up and discussed, of course, in tomorrow's uh, important international conference. Um, uh, this uh, is a global challenge. We need to address it together. And this is why we uh, decided that it was important that we hold this international conference, uh, which will have the participation as well of third countries uh, tomorrow in Berlin. Uh, those words from me, and with this I end. Thank you again for your attention, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you.